sprinting the speed is on from the 1000 meter marker towards the inside very slow to go there was philadelphia girl but quickest away was she's a fortress in the orange gold image is right there flamboyant geograph bay hoist the mast the stand side yas is right there china pull a couple of lengths off them then time is dame commander and rani as they move to the 500 She's a fortress going the quickest. Flamboyance on the inside, Geograph Bay. Then Gold Image, Yas is on the outside, then Hoist the Mars. Geograph Bay is now coming around them to put in a claim. Dame Commander's further back in the run. Just outside the 200, She's a fortress still leads it. Yas, Geograph Bay. Gold Image and Hoist the Mars trying to run on, but still She's a fortress. She's a fortress continues to go here from Hoist the Mars, and it's going to go to She's a fortress. Second will go to China Pearl, third perhaps Geograph Bay, then there's a photo, Yas is involved with Hoist the Mast. Number 10, She's a Fortress, and the mayor by Fort Wood, Kareen Bastel, and is victorious, another winner for Lyle Hewitson, as he goes down low in the saddle, at seven rand a win and 270 for She's a Fortress. She's now won four from 19, 731 days since her last win, but she is Victoria. Second, number seven, China Pearl. Geograph Bay, all running to third. Hoist the Masters fourth, then Yas. Behind that one was Gold Image. Further back in the running was Salomar, Rani, Timius, and Dame Commander. Philadelphia Girl got left hopelessly at the gate. As we look at the head on, she's a fortress, she showed pace from the word go, and she continues to plug away, and the mare by Fort Wood for Clifton Stud, and they win it well. So number 10 on the toad, 7 ram, toad favourite was number 1, back to the studio. Well done to the connections of She's of Fortress. She's now notched up another victory. It's been a while since her last win, but apparently she's a horse who seems to reserve her best for Lyle Hudson. That's right, yeah. Um, congratulations to him. He did. A, he, 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 he rode it very well. Thanks to Corinne for all that she's done. You know, we waited quite a while for her to win again, but it's a lovely feeling to see her win. And the way she won, it's explosive. She gets away from them and she runs them ragged. That's what makes it exciting to watch the races, yeah, when, when she, she shoots out like that. Well done. Thank you. Let's get Corinne Bastel and the rest of the team. They're going to come through and have a chat here. The other meeting, you brought the two runners. You had the winner. Again, two runners, the winner. So it's going well for the stable. Yes, you know, thanks, Sheldon. We've got a very small string. So it's very nice when we can, have not, we can notch up a few winners. Um, she's a lovely filly, there always has been, and Lyle gets on with her. And my thanks to Judy and to Eric. Obviously, they've been very patient. Um, you know, that meeting got moved to the poly, and I specifically don't want her to race on this. She doesn't enjoy it. So they've been very patient, and um, I think their patience has clearly paid off. Thank you. Well, well done to you and the team, and keep up the hard work. Thank you so much, and well done to Clifton, who bred her as well. Super. Thank you. Winning rider, Lyle Hewitson, last word? Yes, thanks to Lyle. Great ride. <laughs> there we go, Lyle Hewitson picking up the ride. Now, apparently it's two years to the day just about that you lost Rhoda and won. Yes, 100%, and um, I think this interview is going to sound pretty much exactly the same as two years ago, you know. Um, it's a cruising speed that wins the races. Um, she jumped out superbly well, and um, that just allowed me the chance to sit against her and uh, just give her that time to find her action. And, you know, going through the 400, um, as I started to gather up, um, it was going to take something seriously nice in this sort of division to, to come and catch me. But, um, yeah, she, she ran a lovely race, and all accolades to the yard. They've done a fantastic job, and um, I'm a lucky recipient to pick up this horse today. So we'll keep her out two years later when you back aboard her and we'll put the lights out. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it's fantastic. And, you know, I think uh, that just shows what a fantastic job the team's done um, to keep us fully uh, always in the money. 
and um, you know, uh, at the ripe old age, still producing the goods. So, fantastic job to them, and thank you so much. Well thank you, and well done, Devonshire. Lal Hewitson, she's a fortress. Karine Bastel, a nice small stable. We always funk for those stables when they come to the course. They've got a small string, but when they come to the track, they deliver. So well done to all concerned. She's a fortress, another honest victory.